Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I am showing you how to make a reset button which resets all of your cash. So if you have like infinite cash or something and you say hey I just want to reset it, have some fun, start the game over, all they have to do is click the reset button and all their stats will be reset. So without further ado let's get started so go to the create tab click create new game select base plate most of you probably know how to do this but if you're just starting out and then edit the new place that was there should be the first one on the top this video includes a leader stat script explains leaders and explains the leader stat script and all that too so everything will be good here and I just made this script up I was needed the brain power so so first step add a script in the server script service right here and what you're gonna do now is how I zoomed in is I hold down control and then zoomed control on the keyboard so let's do the leader set search. so game dot players dot player added colon connect function with these um, two parentheses. Enter local leader equals instance dot new folder comma player. Wait. Here in these parentheses we need to put PLR. So then here that will function that. And then leader dot name equals leader stats underscore I mean enter not underscore what the heck then local stat equals instance dot new int value comma leader stat dot value for this video usually you'd put a zero if you're starting out a new game but for this video purpose for the reset button I'm just gonna put like 450,000 then do stat dot name equals do any name you want so cash I'll put and then to do another just repeat the same thing so if you want to do more uh, more leader stats the, the limit Roblox will show is four but you can still add like infinite and then this stat dot value I'll still put to four hundred fifty thousand and then stat dot name equals and then this we could do like apples or something and then you can keep going on and on forever if you'd like so I'm just gonna maybe put like three of them in here stat dot name equals cookies let's just put like an object simulator so there we go here is the leader stat script go here and then in starter GUI add a screen GUI and then in there add a text button size it to your liking then you can go to properties which is view properties up here background color red is usually a good color for like a reset you know and then do reset and the text for text stroke I like to have that so you can change that to zero if you'd like then scale it and then you can change the font and so there and then for border color I'm going to change the size pixel to a bigger amount so here's the button add a script into this and then we go back to our leader stats so we had cash cookies and apples so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local and then the name equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent we have to do four of them dot leader stats colon connect nope not not connect colon wait for child and then the name of the stat so zoom it out a little and then local cook and then let's do apples local apples equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot leader stats colon wait for child 
and then apples, which is the name. Then do local cookies equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent. Lots of them there. And then leader stats colon wait for child. And then cookie. So the local is telling the whatever you have after the local, which is the name equals equals what it's trying to tell. So instead of so you can have a command basically. Then enter. You're gonna do script dot parent dot mouse button in one click colon connect function and then enter and then you're gonna do cache dot value which is here equals zero so when you click it it will reset all of this to zero so apples dot value equals zero and then cookies dot value equals zero now whatever your stat is you can always change it here and then you just simply change it for each of these now if you wanted to add another one just add another one of these stats by redoing from lines like 10 to 12 but changing the name and value if you'd like and then here you're just gonna if you want to add another just enter and then do local and then the stat name and then do the same things for parents the leader stats and then the wait for child part and then this would be the stat name and then go down here and then change the value to zero this is telling once it clicks but since we don't have this leader stat yet we are just gonna enter it down and boom so let's actually see if this works we should you should see you should see the leader stats see 450,000 of each and once we click this button it will change to zero all of them all of them just went to zero so there you go this is probably the only video you'll find cuz when I was trying to find one of these I could not find any and then I just made up this, this script which I'm pretty proud of to give me credit you can just enter down twice on the top put a dash and then do two dashes and then do script made by its polar then you can do like subscribe and then you can put the link or something this is not required but it's optional for credit so yeah basically teach you guys how to make a reset stats button in Roblox and if you want to make it more clear now you can be more um, creative you can add like a frame and this button the reset could actually just open up this frame which if you want to figure that out how to make an open button um, I'll link a video at the end of this because I do have one of those. But yeah, guys, this is the reset. And basically with that frame, you could add a confirmation. Are you sure you want to reset your, your stats? So yeah, here it is, guys. Like and subscribe. This helped you. Just add that. So yeah, see you guys next time. Like and subscribe.